After school today, we noticeably saw more Euclid police driving and walking up and down East 222nd, making sure students safely navigate torn up sidewalks in this construction zone between Euclid High School and Pinnacle Charter School. The Euclid Police Community Response Team will also do targeted enforcement before and after school. We even saw the Euclid School Superintendent out here keeping an eye on things. But police weren't only guiding students, they were warning them they could get tickets for jail walking to get around construction, something students were advised about during school announcements today. But our camera still saw many students not using the designated intersections they were told to use. Will police give citations for jaywalking? Yeah, I think what they want to do is really teach and make sure they understand. And, and in my call to students and families, what we told them is that they could receive a citation if they, they jaywalk, so they just need to obey the directions of uh, the uh, officers when they're out here. Euclid police told me they're also in the process of hiring two full-time police crossing guards to work this busy construction zone because putting in the gas line and sidewalks could take another four months. It's very hectic to cross. Vasha Thrasher walked her daughter home from school today. She told me even with all this extra crossing help, this construction zone is still hectic. That's why I bring her to school pick her up from school just to make sure. This work zone uh, possibly affects thousands of students. That's one of the two schools located right in the middle of this construction zone. One parent contacted News at 5 saying they actually saw some students getting those citations today for jaywalking. But again, the students were warned that might happen for their own safety. Live on Euclid, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.